Welcome to this video introduction on how to log into NMIT Online for the first time. If you're a returning student, that means you studied with us last year, you don't need to go through this process. You should be able to log in straight away using your username and password from last year. If you can't remember that, then you'll need to contact our service desk using the 0800 Poly IT number. Details are on NMIT Online. For other students, this, will, this process will show you a couple of useful web pages on our NMIT site and then how to activate your account to log in. You will need to know what your username and password is. Uh, I will show you how you may be able to guess that from information on an invoice, but you should have received it already from your program administrator as part of your enrollment information. If you haven't, then I actually suggest you contact them directly and request that information. Okay, from the NMI, main NMIT web, uh, website, we will go to the student portal. This useful page has a whole lot of links to services that are available to you and also uh, information about what student support services you can use, learning support services, a link on how uh, some tips on uh, online study and library services. Uh, you can use your official NMIT email address and but we're going to go now straight to NMIT online. Okay. On this page we're going to go through a once only activation process and then you won't need to do that again. Uh, you may want to bookmark this page directly so that you can come back here quickly next time rather than stepping through lots of links. Okay, so on the left hand side we're going to click activate your computer account. On this page there's some instructions on what your initial format would be if you if you don't know that then take to a place where some instructions on how you can guess it and then some information about what your password format needs to be. So I'm going to enter the username now I'm just going to use a demonstration account but for most students, it will be your first name, a dash, and then your second name. Although it may not always be that way, depending on how common that combination is. And then the default password. And now I need to make up a new password. I usually use a a word with capital letter and then add some numbers on the end. Click OK. And once we've successfully changed it we should see this page. You can now log in to NMIT Online. But first of all I strongly recommend you take advantage of our new password reset service. If you click on this link it'll take you to a page where you can register a number of security questions so that in the event that you forget your password, you'll be able to reset it yourself. You don't have to do that right now, uh, but I strongly recommend you, you do. That means that if you forget your password, it's a 24-7 option to reset it yourself. If you don't do that now, that's fine, but you'll have to use our 0800 number if you forget it. Okay, returning to NMIT Online now. I'm going to log in. using the details we just set up. And we should log in straight away. Things have changed from the initial home page. You can see that we're identified by our first name at the top right hand corner. And we've got a list of courses we've got access to down the centre. Keep an eye on calendar. They'll show up uh, upcoming events. But one of the first things I recommend you do is update the email address in your personal profile. You can do that by clicking on the left hand side, edit profile, or if you can't find that for some reason, up in the top right hand corner you can click that and edit your profile. Okay, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy your studies with NMIT.